Flair coach. How to give your students the best. I know that if you decided to become a Flair coach, it means you already have great Flair experience, your own Flair vision and passion to give your students the best. In this video I will share with you some of my thoughts about how to teach students easier and faster, how to point them in the right direction and how to help them to get the best from Flair. First of all, at the very beginning, ask your student, what is his target? What does he really want? This question is really important. First of all, it's important for you as a coach. If you know the goal of your student, you can give him the fastest way to reach it. Second of all, it's very important for the student. Because only if he has decided what he wants to get, his trainings will be filled with meaning. He will understand what he is doing and why, and he will not just waste his time and the time of his coach. Start to learn with your student all the basic flare moves, beginning with simplest. And here are some tips for you. Beginning of flare way is the most important part. So, as a coach, you must make sure that your student has developed a very, very good trick base. At this stage, you also must understand which moves your student likes more, to which he is more inclined, and besides the most primary basic moves, start to give him additional basic tricks that he likes. It will help him to have more flair passion, to make his trainings more interesting for him, and to find his own flair style in future. Also on this stage, try to be empathetic and considerate of the student. Give him new moves gradually and make sure that they are not too difficult for him. All this is necessary in order for the student's brain to get the impression that he can do it. That flair is not something very difficult that only select people can master and that he is doing well now, which means he will continue to succeed in future. Give your student not just separate flare moves, but also flare sequences, which include the moves he already learned. Practicing flare sequences is really important. First of all, a person can see the fruits of his labor, since a trick sequence is a ready-made product that can be shown to people. Second, by doing tricks not only individually, but also in sequences, the student can see which tricks he has mastered well and which are not. So it also helps him to learn all the tricks deeper and better. Third, one of the most important things in flair is smoothness. So the sooner you start working on it, the better. And learning a lot of different flair sequences is the best way to become better and better with smoothness in flair. Teach your student to work for the audience. It is one of the most important things. Because doesn't matter how good you can be in practice room, unless you cannot show it to people. So force your student to show his skills to spectators. Teach him to create new. Let your student to create a new flare sequence, create a new move or change some moves he knows. Make him build a routine, find the music and the costume for his performance. Help him to find a way to reveal himself through flare. Pay big attention on individuality of every student and work personally with each. Because all people are different and individual, so you cannot work the same pattern with every student. Be open to learn from your students. Good luck and have a happy flare time!